Good evening, friends. Today, let us solve an Olympiad problem. This is an easy problem, just that it looks little difficult, but in fact, it is a very easy problem. Right. Here, what is given is a triangle is given and we have to find the area of some part of this triangle. Right. Now, this triangle, what they have given CD by CB. CD by CB is equal to 1 by 3. That means the line drawn from A to the opposite side, it is dividing in the ratio of 1 by 3. Right. CD is 1. Uh, CB is 3. Right. 1 by 3. So 2 is to 1, it is dividing. Right. AE by AC. AE by AC. Similarly, B drawn to the from B drawn to the opposite side. It is dividing in the ratio again. 1 by 3. Similarly, BF by BA. That means from C, whatever is drawn, it is also dividing in the ratio of 1 is to 3. Okay, three lines are drawn. Right. And what is also given is and these lines are meeting somewhere. Right. What it is also given is A N2 is to N2 is to N1, N2 N1 plus N1 D. This one is equal to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This 3, this 3, and this is 1. Similarly, for lines B E and C F. B E and C F. That means this is 3, this is 3, this is 1. 3 is to 3 is to 1. Right. Similarly, this is 3, this is also 3, and this is 1. 3 is to 3 is to 1. So, we are given two sets of ratios. One is 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Here, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay. We are given these two set of ratios. Now, we just, we have to calculate this area. Right. Now, because we are given ratios of some sides, let us try to use these ratios. Right. Some ratios are given C, D and C, B. Right. Let's try to use these ratios to calculate some areas. Right. <coughs> now, what is this area? This area is actually, let us look at this picture again. What is this area? This area is total area of A, B, C minus A, B, E, minus B, C, F, minus C, A, D, these three triangles, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle. We will remove all of these triangles and then add the smaller triangles again. B, N, 3, F, A, N, 2, E, and D, C, N, 1. This small triangle, this small triangle, the ones which are in green. First, we will remove all the yellow ones and then add the green ones back. What will be left? Only the pink one will be left. Right? N1, N2, N3 is again. It's the same thing, right? Because these ones are double counted. The small green ones are double counted. That's why we have to add them back. When we are removing ABE and BCF, this thing, this green one is removed twice. That's why we have to add one time back. Right? These green ones, we will add them back. That is what we have written. Area of N1 and N3 is equal to ABC minus ABE minus BCF, BCF minus CAD, CA, CAD removed, all three removed, then plus B and 3F. This one we have added back. A and 2E, this also we added back, this one. C and 1D, this also we are adding back. Fantastic. Now, the ratios are given. The ratios of this one, CD and BC. Let's try to use this to calculate the areas of these triangles. Let us look at A, B, E. A, B, E, this triangle. Now, if you compare this triangle and triangle A, B, C. Okay, A, B, E and A, B, C. They are like this. A, B, E, E, and A, B, C. Right. If you try to see this closely, there is a line and there is a point B. This is B and this is this line AC. There is only one perpendicular to this line. Right. 
there cannot be two perpendiculars. From any point to any line, there is only one perpendicular. Right, if you want to calculate area of A, B, E, then what is this area? Half into A, E into this perpendicular H. It might come here, it might drop here, or it might not drop, it, it will be somewhere like here. Right, this is this H, half into A into H. Right, now if you have to calculate the area of A, B, C, total A, B, C, then half into A, C is the base right now, and then the same perpendicular, right, same H, half into A, C into H, right, because there is only one perpendicular from a point to a line, right, from B to the line A, C, there is only one perpendicular. The same perpendicular we will use for A, B, E area calculation and A, B, C area calculation. So, the area is like this, right? But we know A, E is one third, A, E by A, C is one third, right? This is already given, right? A, E by A, C is one third, right? What does that mean? Half, this is equal to half into one third into H. What does this mean? This means the area of this part is equal to area of one, one third of A, B, C. Right. Because nothing else is changing. Only in the area, only this thing is changing. A is one third of A, C. So, the area of A, B is one third of A, B, C. Right. This is A, B, C by 3. That's why this is A, B, C by 3. Similarly, B, C, F. Let's look at BCF. B C F yeah, this area. B C F. Yeah. Right. Now let us look at this area again. This time let's take the base as uh, let's take this line AB. AB is like this. From point C, there is again only one perpendicular. From point C, there is only one perpendicular to AB. Right. So, and the same perpendicular uh, will be used for the area of BCF. BCF area is half into BF into this perpendicular, whatever it is, into H. Similarly, area of ABC is what? Half into AB into the same perpendicular from C. Because from a point to a line, there is only one perpendicular. Right. In this case also, H, H, H and H are the same. Now, AB by, sorry, BF by, BF by AB or BA. That is already 1 by 3. It is already given. BF by BA is 1 by 3. What does that mean? This triangle is again one third of total ABC. Right. This triangle is again one third of ABC. Right. Similarly, CAD also. CAD, if you see, there is CAD. CAD. This triangle. This triangle, right? C A D. C A D and and A B C. Right. Now again, B C is the BC line is say the point is the point A. There can be only one perpendicular, only one perpendicular, right? And which is the height of the triangle ABC as well as this triangle ADC. So ADC area is half into height into DC, whereas ABC area is half into height into BC. Now again, DC by BC is 1 by 3. What does that mean? This area is again one third of ABC. It's the same thing. 
So luckily we have figured out the areas of these yellow triangles. Okay, ABC by 3, ABC by 3, ABC by 3. What does that mean? All put together, it is 1 ABC, ABC minus ABC, this thing is gone. Right? We don't need to worry about the first part, this part. We, we need to worry about how to calculate area of these green triangles now. Okay. Now again, we will use the same methodology. Exactly the same methodology. Looking at these green triangles. Right. Let's look at this triangle. Now B and 3 F in this triangle. Right. Let us look at this again. B and 3 F versus B C F. Let us look at these triangles. B uh, triangle like this. B and 3 F and B C F. If you look at this again, take this line, take this line C F and take this point B, B to C F. There is only one perpendicular, right? What is what is the area of B and 3 F? Half into N3 F into height. Right? Whatever is this height? That is the area of this small green triangle. Right? What is the area of this small green triangle? Whatever from B to uh, this base, whatever it is, half N3 F into whatever this height. Half of N3F into height. Now, what is the area of this triangle? BCF. BCF. Again, taking CF as base, half into CF into again the same height. B to this line. Again the same height. Now, N3F by CF. What is this? It is also given. It is also given. What is given? This is to this is to this. Right. 3 is to 3 is to 1. Right. What does that mean? Uh, N3F by CF is equal to 1 by 7. Right. 3 plus 3 plus 1. That is total 7. 1 by 7. Right. 1 by 7. So, area of this is equal to 1 by 7 of BCF. And what is BCF? BCF is actually, sorry, 1 by 7 of BCF, which is equal to 1 by 7 into 1 by 3 of ABC, which we have already proved in the this diagram. Right. So, what does that mean? B and 3 f is equal to 1 by 21 of ABC. 1 by 21 of ABC. Right. B and 3 f. Similarly, A and 2 E, this one. Let us look at this triangle. Okay. And similarly, this triangle. This triangle. And B E is the base. B e is the base from A to this one is the perpendicular. A to B is the perpendicular. So, half into area of A and 2 E is half into n to e into h into h whereas area of ab is half into b e into h right this is the same perpendicular this line from a there is only one perpendicular right so now again this n to e is one seventh of b e because this 3 is to 3 is to 1 is already given so this is again 1 by seventh of B E. So what does that mean? This area is area of A into E is one by seven of this one A B E. A B E, which means one by seven of one by three of A B C. What does that mean? The total area is one by twenty one of A B C. Right. So this also we have proved. So this green is one by twenty one of A B C. This green is again 1 by 21 of ABC. The remaining green, this one. This one. 
this and again this triangle a d c and d c n1 this small green triangle again let's take the base as this one this is the base this is the base right now Sorry, this is uh, this is the base. A D. This is the base. Let, let's check. Okay, the two triangles are like this. Uh, a D, and there's a point C. From C to A D, there is only one perpendicular. Right, there is only one perpendicular. Now uh, D N one and A D are on the same line, so there is only one perpendicular from C. Right. So, and what is area of C D N1 or C N1 D? Half into whatever that perpendicular into D N1. D, this is the base and whatever is the perpendicular, half into this perpendicular into D N1. Similarly, for A D C, it's again the same perpendicular, half into perpendicular into base A D. Now again, D N by A D. This is 3 is to 3 is to 1. So, that's why it is again 1 by 7. 1 by 7 of ADC area, this green part is 1 by 7 of ADC, which is equal to 1 by 21 of ABC. Right, 1 by 21 of ABC. So, what we have found out? We have figured out all three of them put together. This is again 3 by 21 of ABC, which is 1 by 7 of ABC. This area is actually 1 by 7 of ABC. Because these ones have already cancelled out and only these are left. This put together, each one is 1 by 7th of ABC. There are 3 of such. That's why all 3 put together. Each one of them is 1 by 21th of uh, total ABC. There are 3, three such uh, green triangles. So, total put together, the area is 1 by 7 ABC. Right, this is an easy problem. We did not use anything else apart from area of triangles of BH. And we used, we tried to use same basis or calculating for calculating of area of triangles in different ways. Right, just by changing the basis. We then we are able to create a relation between area of different triangles because we are given the ratio of this. Uh, different sides, different lengths, right? So, we used to use this. We divided our the entire diagram or we choose the triangles that way so that we can use these ratios, right? That's how we picked the areas of uh, triangles and compared them and finally we arrived at the overall area. See, this is an easy problem only. We don't need anything else. <laughs> apart from half bh in this right but we should be careful in picking the right triangles to compare areas right hope you understood this and if you have any doubts please uh, message then we'll pick this up again thank you guys